Today I'm going to show you how to make a distress design for your t-shirt or decal project. So make sure you stick around because this video is going to be good. So let's begin. All right, so here we are in our Corel Draw software and I'm going to draw a perfect circle. I'm going to keep uh, on the keyword, the CTRL keyword, keep it pressed and just draw my circle. It's going to make a perfect circle here not to do any band reference and I'm going to center here I'm going to center vertically and horizontally so now I'm going to probably I'm going to make this a little more thinner but then I'm going to trim and I'm going to do a smaller circle probably I'm going to make it bigger so that way I'm not going to make it perfectly as it was made but I just want to give you the whole theme of how we made our logo and i think that's gonna be okay now i'm gonna probably gonna make this bigger center now let's add some color and now we're gonna add all the letters that we have in uh, our design something's missing here and i think that's it and i'm gonna do the same thing on this side just drag it here copy here and i'm gonna clip sh shift on my keyboard and press the letter e to align it and I'm gonna weld and turn this black too all right now it's taking shape now the next step is going to be of course our beautiful initials here RDI and then I'm gonna use a thicker font I'm gonna use the impact font and I'm probably gonna do the same for the top side and I'm gonna center this with the circle all right now it's taking shape now what we're going to do is draw another circle here again keep it press the ctrl button on your keyword to draw a perfect circle it doesn't have to be perfectly but at least now we know how big is this circle right here now the next step will be to do rdi decals and then i'm going to do the same font and then i'm going to center or i mean i'm sorry i'm going to uh, do the fit text to path just go where it says text click and then it's gonna you're gonna see this uh, fit text to path and click it you're just gonna do this until you you sure that it's um, curved perfectly and now i'm going to break this text apart from the circle now what we're gonna do on the bottom is uh, do YouTube and what I'm gonna do here because I know usually this side here it's gonna take more space so I, I like to do a space in between of course the same font we're gonna stretch this and actually YouTube it's a uh, one word I forgot about that all right, now I'm gonna make this smaller because we don't want this to be super big and we're gonna do the same thing. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot one thing. Before you curve your bottom text, if you want people to be able to read it, you're gonna have to turn this text to 180 degrees. And I'm gonna show you why. Now fit text to path and this is why. See that? That's the reason why. And I think it's still, you it, can still use a little more spacing but again I'm just doing this quick tutorial just to give you a hint of how we design our logo and now we're gonna place these um, letters here we can probably make it a little bigger and now we're gonna center this and we might make this a little bigger too and we're going to center this with probably bring this down a little bit more okay I think we got something it's taking shape again this is just to show you uh, the basics of how we made our design and the, the main thing is the distress so now I'm gonna weld the entire design and it is now a solid design here now how do we add the distress uh, effect on our design well if you are using Corel draw the way I do it is either I can draw a lot of circles or I can go on Google and find like a paint stained uh, effect and just vectorize it or convert it to a PNG and just trim that entire logo but just to avoid any copyrights you don't want to risk it just you can do that here 
it's not gonna be perfectly but just you know do a lot of little tiny circles and they don't have to be perfectly all of it and i'm gonna show you how to do it one by one so they're not entirely the same uh, size so now what i'm gonna do is make this entire thing smaller and probably turn this uh, this color okay now i think this that's taking shape and it's looking good now what i'm gonna do is make more circles and make it smaller and smaller because you don't want all of them to be the same it's supposed to be like a paint stain effect now i'm gonna do this smaller too and make it weld and now i can finally do the copies here and there you can probably stretch it if you don't want it all alike and do mirror so that way it's not the same thing and the same design and you just can make a lot of copies and everywhere anywhere and you can keep making it small and stretch like this okay now it's taking shape now i'm gonna do another one here and mirror so it's not the same and i'm gonna do another one here i'm probably gonna do weld on the entire design because it's it's taking shape now i'm gonna do another copy here and another copy here and so on you see what i'm doing now i think i can make this smaller but you gotta keep in mind that if you are doing this with a uh, printer then i think you can make it smaller than this but if you are doing this like uh with a vinyl cutter you want to keep in mind that you are going to weed out every single detail it's not the same when you do it with a printer or when you do it with a vinyl cutter i mean i don't have to tell you you if you are in the business you are related to this process now i can probably make this stains a little bit smaller because they look a little too big still um i can probably make it compress it here okay i think that looks good i just want you to notice uh and look at the idea that i'm i'm showing you here i think you get the idea you can make it smaller it's it's all up to you i'm just showing you how i did it and how you can do it you can make uh, different stains like i said there's many ways that you can do it this is the best way for me to do it but just keep in mind that you are going to weed out every single detail and now you see what i did all right now this is the result and it is a close one to what we did with our design and to be honest i had to wait for like three minutes because the computer froze so i had to remake the design but i just wanted to give you and show you how you can make a distress design you can draw a lot of little circles make it smaller just make sure you don't have a lot of pages open like i do so that way your computer doesn't uh, freeze or or takes longer to uh, do the process so yeah thank you guys so much if you like this video make sure you give us a like subscribe i will see you guys again on the next episode thank you